Hey guys, welcome back. As I mentioned, I was going to tear down the Vario uh, engineering synapse. It's a little off center. It's not quite as smooth as it should be. Uh, again, this is the prototype. So what you see has been refined and this has gone around the country to, um, you know, different reviewers and, and whatnot. I could use the uh, fulcrum here, as it does have the slot for the bits. But since I'm at home, I figured I would just use the uh, drivers that I have here set up, because it's just a little bit easier for, you know, what I'm doing here at home, right? So we'll just uh, use this guy here this time and uh, see what we can do. Why is that not poked through? That's interesting. Normally that screw is going to pull the uh, clip off. Okay, well, interesting. Let's pull the pivot out and see what happens. I'm not exactly sure what all parts and pieces need to come apart here to get this uh, all torn down. So we will learn together, right? Definitely pull the pivot out. That should, don't think, maybe I do need to pull off the uh, scales. Maybe there's some other internal screws on the scales, maybe under the scales. So, we shall give that a shot. Yeah, I can feel it coming apart now. There you go. Just had to pop that one scale off, I think. Yeah, yeah, a little, little gunkied up. Little gunked up there. So we'll get that all torn apart here. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, bunch of gunk. And ah, see, so there is the screw for the clip. So I don't need to take that one off at all actually now. Um, although I can. But I don't, well, don't think we really need to take that apart. The rest of the stuff is cleaned here. So let's wipe this all down. I just wipe this off. Over here, let's see, kind of just get in there, get the grime and the grit out. As you can see, it's on bearings. It's got the washer here, so we'll see if we can get that washer to pop out. So I would like to clean behind that too, if I can get it to drop out. Sometimes you just need to kind of Give it a little love there. Because, yeah, I want to get this all wiped off. It's all kind of just greasy. Nothing bad, but I'm sure after this it will run much better. So it just was a little on the, on the dirty side. But this is a great, great little knife. And, again, thank you, Joseph, for sending this along. Um, we'll get it all cleaned up here and put back together for you and then uh, get it sent off to you at some point, I'm sure, or to whomever you would like me to send it off to this next time. Because I have had, I've had this one for just a few days, but I've had the Impulse for quite a while now. Um, since I did the review, it hasn't left, so... Um, I know that there's probably other folks that need to see it, but we'll see. Let's just get it all, let's get this one all cleaned up. And uh, don't forget, we are, I'll throw this out there, giving away the uh, Savivi Asticus here once we hit 400 subs. About 360 something right now. Uh, so, getting close.
And then we'll do another thing at 500 and then another giveaway at 1,000 if we get up there. But one thing at a time. One step at a time, right? All right, so now let me see. Let me get some alcohol here on the uh, cloth to clean off those bearings because those are going to be a little bit more uh, finicky than just the rest here. Get these all cleaned up over here off the camera. Yeah, they're not so bad, but seen better days, right? So hopefully, a little cleaning, a little lube, and this will be back to running like new. Okay. So got some Viceroy oil here. And I'm going to put just a little bit down here before I put the washer on even. Just because. Just because I can. And a little bit on this side too. And drop the washer in there. Let's take, take a look and see if there's, yeah, there's kind of a direction. Okay. And let's see here, which, kind of got to remember which way the knife actually goes because you're looking at it a little bit different with it open and closed and whatnot. So I will also, I need to clean off this pivot. Make sure that that is nice and clean. And this should go back together pretty straightforward. Um, actually a little bit easier than the uh, impulse, to be honest. Just because the impulse had a uh, floating stop pin. It kind of gave a little bit of a hard time. As I say that now, as the pivot doesn't want to go through, but because it's just, this pivot's a little bit scratched and banged up. And there is a, a flat spot on the pivot. So that has to kind of go in a certain way. To make sure that it all lights up. Oh, this is, goes in. this side. So the pivot goes in that side, so we've got to build it off of that direction instead. So a little bit of oil here, and a little bit on the actual pivot itself. Oops, maybe I got that on the wrong way. Just get these, they do kind of go a certain direction and I believe it's that way there towards the blade. Okay, and so really what I need to do is a little more oil on this side. And we will see if I can drop this over or not. Is that the right way? Now I'm getting myself confused again. So, yes. Yep, that's the correct way. I just need to drop that there. And then drop this. We're just going to open it up to kind of make it a little bit easier to line everything up, I think. 
Hard part is going to be that detent or the pivot. Nope, there you go. I think that's... Ah, and I forgot the backspacer. It's always something, right, guys? Again, welcome to live TV, so to speak. Um, and you got to kind of remember how it goes in so that you can get it all lined back up. All right, there you go. And what I'm going to do really quick is just finger tighten the pivot in just so that it's there so that I can line up some other screws here. Oh, there was the uh, stop pin. It did have that floating stop pin. All right, so see what I mean, guys? Live TV. So when you're taking these things apart, you just gotta kind of pay attention. And I think the stop pin goes on the other side here. Inside of this track, I believe. How does that work? No? All right, well, hmm. Oh, sorry, that's the spacer for back here. All right, see, you gotta pay attention and not take things apart more than you need to. That's all right, it's all good. Let's get that there. This one went into this hole, and then we just gotta line this stuff up, right? Okay, so now we'll just finger tighten the uh, pivot back in, although it's hard to grab at your finger, so I will just use a tool here to hold it together while we get these other pieces back in place. And then we'll be rocking and rolling and we can adjust the pivot and get it all tuned up. And we'll hope that it all works fine and dandy once it's all back together. And then I will grab some Loctite. I just want to make sure because this is a little bit... Uh, I just want to make sure before I Loctite it up. So. so what else is going on with you guys out there? I mean... Are we surviving the uh, coronavirus? I haven't really talked much about that because I think everybody's talking about it. So why? But I just want to make sure or just, you know, let you know that I hope everything is going well and that you're surviving the uh, lockdown stuff and all of that jazz, right? Because we care. I want to make sure that everybody is happy and healthy. Just give it a few little turns here to make sure that things are lining up. And I don't know that the centering is going to be perfect because it's a prototype and all of that. And it wasn't perfect when I started. But I will loosen things up a little bit here just to kind of see if we can get things to align as we tighten it all back. Sometimes you just need to kind of hold things in place as you tighten them up and that really helps them kind of align where they should go if that makes sense and then uh, cinch them down once everything looks like it's kind of in the right spot and i know the pivot's going to be too tight because it's going to barely open actually open pretty decent It's definitely smoother than it was before. I can definitely tell that. The centering is still not perfect, but I think it's pretty good to go. Let's see if... I can probably loosen the pivot just a hair.
So yeah, you can see there, that's that detent ramp is kind of uh, tough because it won't really fall below the detent ramp by itself. But I think it's in, it's definitely smoother and feels better than it did before. So just needed a little cleaning. I think that that covers it, although I got to tear this out to put a little Loctite on it. So I'm going to have to tighten it back up. That's the thing with the pivot is you really kind of want to Loctite it first because I did all that and I got to just take it apart to put some Loctite on. Not too much, but just a little. Because you definitely, I mean, when I got it, the pivot was a little bit loose. So whoever had it kind of before me um, let it get loose. But I think that will do it for this video. It's working, it's in good shape. I think it's better than when I started, although not perfect, but for a prototype, I think it's in pretty good shape. So I appreciate it. Hope this gave you a little bit of an insight into the Vario Engineering Synapse. And the inside of this is very similar to the inside of that one uh, when I took them apart. This had a floating stop pin which this did not. I got a little confused with that backspacer that came out, but all in all, very well engineered on both of them. So again, thank you very much, Joseph, for sending this in and allowing me to uh, show the rest of the YouTube world what goes into your uh, knives. I greatly appreciate that. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more to come, and these should start shipping in June. Uh, roughly. So thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day and we'll see you on the next one.